Hello everyone! Sorry, I'm just cleaning it back here. Good morning! And welcome to here! Today we're gonna talk about things. I don't know yet what yet. Um, I have a list of topics, so I'm gonna go look at those. Hold on. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, today we're gonna talk all about the 12 note music system and why it even exists and what the heck that's about. Who came up with that? I'll tell you. So as a little refresher, we use a 12 note music system where each note is a minor second interval apart. So the A note to the A sharp B flat note is a minor second, the A sharp B flat note to the B note is a minor second, and so on and so forth until forever till the end of time. Yeah. And so not only are the intervals between these notes equal, but they also follow the exact same frequency ratio. An octave is exactly double the frequency of its starting note. So let me show you. So this open E note here is 82.4 hertz. And its octave is 164.8 hertz, which is double 82.4, right? And so all the notes between this open E and this E here, it's octave, right? So. All those are spaced out according to our equal ratio frequency formula. Stick around, this, this is good, this is good. And so basically we multiply the hertz of the previous note by about 1.059463. Right. So starting from this low E note here at 82.4 hertz, multiply that by 1.059463, and then we get 87 point something. Right. And then we would multiply that number again by 0, 0.1.56, and then you get the hertz of the next note over. And so I know you probably weren't expecting a math lesson right now, but it's actually very interesting. The reason this is so important in our music system is because it's because of that system that all our chord shapes and scale shapes are movable. So we could take the G shape pentatonic scale, right? <laughs> And we could play that in the key of D major, or we could take the exact same shape, move it down here, and play it in A major, all while using the exact same shape. And the reason we could do that is because all the notes are equally spaced in frequency apart, which means the relationship between the notes remains the same regardless of what key you're in. So I could play this little riff here. Whatever. Or I could play that exact same riff using the exact same pattern down here. The melody still sounds exactly the same, just the pitch is different. And that's because of our equally spaced 12 note system. Don't forget to go to meganchoicemusic.com for the 70 Cent Guitar Study ebook. It's a guitar study ebook. There's chord shapes in it, scale shapes in it, and it's a whole study textbook. If you go, there's like the table of contents and stuff. And you can look at it and stuff. So I hope that was interesting. I hope that wasn't a waste of your time. And um, I hope you have a great day and you water your plants and you take your uh, watermelon uh, out of the freezer. So